All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Stephen Thompson and Gilbert Dorino Burns. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, kind of hard to believe that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson has yet to realize a UFC championship. Truly a special striker. Most welterweights believe, DC, this is as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the division. Of course it is, because Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is in that traditional karate stance. He's standing far back, one leg way out in front, and he's just a great counter striker. If you get overzealous against Stephen Thompson, you are going to sleep. You cannot just rush him. You have to take your time. So a lot of his fights, look very similar because guys don't know how to approach the counter-striking style of Wonderful. Wild success as an amateur and professional kickboxer. Truly put Simpsonville, South Carolina on the UFC map. His father, Ray, there firmly in his corner. Steven Wonderboy Thompson looking to make one more run here to UFC welterweight title contention. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Thompson is three years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Walter White Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durino Burns! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so here we go with the stretch up it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Cable of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just misses with that one. Burns gets stung by that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows 
and talks to your toughness. Oh, big left. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He lands a switch knee. That's a big strike right there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Under a minute now to go. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Thompson. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Good punch, land. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. tonight he's landed some significant strikes but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume because they don't see too much of a threat this guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations he's still safe but he's also going to be able to land he's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off man striking class is in session beautiful punch there Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, big head kick. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knock. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Gilbert Duringa Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.